Hi, Manong George here and for today's video, we'll talk about things I wish I knew before I went and worked here in the UK. Let's start with cash savings. So when I first came here to the UK, uh, of course, my mindset was to work, 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 work. That's why bank was life. My knowledge of money then was put your money straight to the bank, keep your cash there and let it grow. But I did not understand how uh, that actually isn't really fruitful because there are more strategies where you can put your money to help it grow. Back then, uh, you could say that when I started, it wasn't a great start because my money was just sitting in the bank and it wasn't doing much either than just, you know, growing little by little. As a Filipino nurse coming to the UK, uh, I thought that I would be, you know, living alone in a flat. I was thinking that would be the sense that, uh, you know, uh, would be me in abroad working. Uh, but that's not true uh, because what happened was reality uh, set in quite early that I couldn't afford the flat all by myself. So what I could have known is that house sharing is the way to go. It became apparent later on after uh, the f after the first few months were in we had our accommodation was free that I really can't just get out of the accommodation and afford a flat. So house sharing is a real lifesaver and a real money saver for anybody new coming into the UK. One tip that might help is that if you are coming in as a cohort like we did by way back when, uh, maybe it would be great if even prior to landing in the UK, you've had a good circle of friends that you already know uh, that you can then arrange some sort of agreement that you guys would be sharing a house. That would be give you, I'd say, half a step ahead that help you in your starting journey here in the UK. Being a Filipino nurse uh, going abroad, I was thinking of, of course, investing back home in the Philippines, sending my money, uh, you know, uh, to maybe start a business or maybe buy a property. But uh, I wish I'd realized that that isn't as simple as that. You see, when you talk about investing in the Philippines, I think one thing that is very, very important is that you should have somebody that really, that you can trust and who has your welfare in mind. Because unfortunately, if you're not the one, if you don't have somebody who you can trust or you don't have real access to your investments, and if you don't have a real handle on how you want your investments to grow, then there's a good chance that you might be just throwing an investment per se, but that money is just draining down the, you know, just draining everywhere. You know, it's not as easy uh, when you're abroad and investing way uh, 7,000 miles away uh, in the Philippines. Personally, I've had, uh, previous investments that didn't really work because I was too young. I didn't understand how money would work if you're living abroad and you're putting your money in the Philippines. So if you're not as uh, that savvy and you don't have that uh, person you can trust, then I would suggest save up your money here in the UK and when you can invest in something that you have researched and understood uh, so that your money will grow the right way. Back in the Philippines, uh, as a nurse, uh, there is uh, real seniority, at least um, during my time. You know, uh, that's why we also have a culture of calling everybody ma'am, sir, ma'am, sir, right? This sort of mentality I brought here in the UK, but then I realized uh, seniority really doesn't, shouldn't, and doesn't exist. Well, well, it does exist, but it's only because if you allow it right me having this sort of mindset instead of giving me a boost in my start here in the uk it kind of left me a bit behind amongst my peers so uh if you're coming from the philippines working in the uk just try to remember don't let seniority be an issue uh in fact 
everybody here in the UK in your workplace call each other or by first name basis and most people are com comfortable with that uh, you don't really have to call everybody ma'am or sir and um, sometimes it can be a bit insulting really or a bit condescending or patronizing uh, if you're calling everybody ma'am or sir and lastly you must adapt to the UK culture so what do I mean by this as a new nurse in the Philippines, I came from uh, one of the best hospitals in the, uh, the Philippines and I thought I really knew a lot. I was a bit slightly arrogant and I thought that being uh, coming from a JCI accredited uh, facility, you know, um, going to a hospital here in the UK that I'm at least at par or even, you know, slightly better. But that's not the case. The case is... I'm the new guy, I should be the one adjusting to a new country, to a new hospital, to new people. Uh, well, that's it to me, new people, but actually I'm the new person in town, you know? And it would never really work wherein, of course, the other side would ad slightly adjust for me, but they won't move the world for me. I have to do the adjustments. I have to do the, the catching up, okay? And it took me some time before I learned that and I learned that the hard way. And to some degree, now that we have a community in the UK, uh, I see that sometimes this can be an issue with um, many new Filipino nurses. And so, like I always said, learn how to adjust to a new environment. The environment will not adjust for you, but you should do the adjusting. That ends our episode for today. I hope you learned a few uh, insights on what you should have learned before coming into the UK. And if you are interested to join our Facebook group, a Filipino UK Nurses Facebook Community Group, then do find us on Facebook. We are now 36,000 people strong. And if you have any questions, um, just drop us a message on Facebook. And uh, for anything UK nursing and UK living, always remember, Manu knows. <laughs> Manu knows best, but you always do rest.